help. Despite all the times I failed you, you always find a way to give me grace. I love how you are true to your name. In the last two years of knowing you, I am pleased to say that your character is truly admirable. You are to be cherished, held with high regard, and taken care of. All things that I promised to do. God has gifted me with a beautiful garden. A garden that I vow to tend to all the days of my life. My dearest, I vow to give you my loyalty, my heart, my life. I promise to uphold you with gentleness and compassion. I vow to lead you as a servant. To God be the praise, honor, and glory that I have found you. Let our marriage be a tiny reflection of his love for us. To wherever God leads us in this life, you will always hear these words. Te amo. Sanohe. Aishteru. Woaini. Kuruko. I love you. It's still so surreal to me that we are standing here before each other. We've come such a long way and I'm so proud of the man you are today. And I truly admire you. To this day, I still get butterflies when you smile at me. <laughs> Thank you for loving me for who I am and making me a better woman. Simon, I promise to love you even on the days when I don't feel it. I promise to be a helper and to support you in all your ways, to trust you and respect you as the head of our marriage. I promise to always use my words to build and encourage you. I promise to stand beside you through the good and bad days. And I vow to continuously work on myself to be the wife that you deserve. I pray that Christ will be the center of our lives and the foundation of our marriage. Simon, you are my dream come true, and I can't wait for how the Lord will use us to build His kingdom. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if death separates you and me.